I'm afraid the time has come, Bertram. It's time to tell the good people of Britain why I wear these sunglasses. And sadly, the truth is I wear these sunglasses because I am blind. Um, really? No, not really. The actual reason I wear these sunglasses is because I have lasers inside my eyes. And should I remove these sunglasses, you would be destroyed with said lasers. Um, really? No, not really. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer. Joined once again by my faithful manservant slash fucktotem Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is my review for the Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles. So, um, what are we gonna do tonight, O.C.? Well, the same thing we try to do every night, Bertram. Take over the world. Uh, I mean, YouTube. Take over YouTube. So, Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles, originally released in 2007. A year... I remember fondly as the year I used Just For Men for the very first time. But I'm not reviewing that version today. No, 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 no. Today, I am reviewing the HD port that released for the PlayStation 3 in 2012. A year... I remember fondly as the year I found a mouse living in my anus. I mean, house. <clears throat> Thank you for sharing, Bertram. Maybe resist from doing that in the future. <clears throat> so, what is the Umbrella Chronicles? Well, I'm so glad you asked, dear viewer. The Umbrella Chronicles is... House of the Dead Resident Evil Edition, which means that this is an on-rail shooter. You know, the kind that you used to commonly play with a light gun, which I hear is a good deterrent against vampires. <laughs> because it's a light gun? <laughs> And vampires are allergic to... Um, shellfish? Shellfish? No! Light! <clears throat> Light! Oh! Bloody shellfish indeed, Jesus. <clears throat> now this game will have you reliving the events of Resident Evil Zero. Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 3. But don't expect these to be full-blown remakes. Now, the stories and events of the three games have been simplified, abridged. One might say this is baby's first Resident Evil. Oh, I'd never let a baby play Resident Evil. That would turn them into serial killers. Oh, come, Bertram. By the age of four, I was watching Friday the 13th. And look how I turned out. Um... Oh, fine. I see your point. Now, thankfully, the game features an original chapter where you play as Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine as they travel to Russia to take down a Bond villain and a new B.O.W. called Talos. Um, I had a goldfish called Talos once. Hmm, he would bark at other goldfish and lick his own backside. No, 
That wasn't a goldfish, Bertram. That was a dog. Oh, I thought he looked a little big for that tank I bought him. Silly me. Quite. <clears throat> now, there are also additional levels where you play as characters such as Albert Wesker, Ada Wong, Huck, and Rebecca Chambers. But I refused to play any of the Rebecca stages. Um, why? Well, it's not that I don't like Rebecca. She's just not very attractive. She looks like a small boy trying on his sister's clothes for the first time. But someone who most certainly is not wearing his sister's clothes, I think, is Albert Wesker. A man who invented the craze of wearing sunglasses indoors. You know, Bertram, my mother always said, never trust a man wearing sunglasses. Um, but you're wearing sunglasses. You wear them all the time. Exactly. And I still say he puts too much gel in his hair. Um, didn't you used to put gel in your hair? Oh, by the gallon but only because I badly wanted to look like my idol. Um, who is? You know, creepy thin guy from Charlie's Angels. Oh, I see. And if you don't get that little reference, you are much too straight. I mean, young, to be watching my videos. So, what did I think of the Umbrella Chronicles. Well, let's discuss. First of all, I like the Resident Evil Zero section of this game more than I like Resident Evil Zero. Um, why? Well, there's two reasons, actually. Number one, because it's shorter. And number two, because it's bloody shorter. Ah, good reasons. I think so. Now, the last time I spend playing garbage like Resident Evil Zero, the more time I can spend with my children. Oh, I didn't know you had children. What are their names? Ah, PlayStation and Xbox. I see... I'd love to say I enjoyed the Resident Evil 1 section, but that part of the game commits the ultimate sin. It removes Barry Burton. And that I cannot forgive. I have a good mind to give this game a 3 out of 10. Um, is he so important to you? He's like a second cousin twice removed on my father's side. Oh, I see. So, that brings us to the Resident Evil 3 section. Now, while the Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil 1 parts of the game follow the originals pretty closely, Resident Evil 3 is butchered more than Bruce Jenner's genitalia. The original story and locations are mostly absent. It's really obvious this segment of the game got the least amount of attention. I mean, dear lord, Nemesis doesn't turn up until near the end. Now, overall, I like all of the original stages in this game, particularly the whole Talos chapter and the Wesker, Rebecca, Ada levels. But sadly, the levels from Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil 1, and Resident Evil 3 have far too much cut out of them. Therefore, I am going to give Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles a 5 out of 10. So I said to him, Look here, Governor. 
I in absolutely no way wish to have sex with your wife. For two reasons, actually. Number one, she's not incredibly attractive. Number two, the woman is a bloody zombie. Now, personally, sir, I don't know about you, but I prefer my women to have a little more meat on their bones. And do you know what he said to me then, Bertram? Just wait till you get a bloody load of this. He said... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Bucktoad Bertram. <sighs> Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is my review for Resident Evil. The Dark Side Chronicles. So, Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles originally released in 2009. A year I remember fondly as the year I binged hentai for 72 hours straight and subsequently broke my wrist due to all of the self-fondling you see. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> but today I am reviewing the HD version that released for my mistress, the PlayStation 3, in 2012. So, what is Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles? Well, I'm so glad you asked, dear viewer. This is a follow-up to Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles. Now, in my last review, I described the Umbrella Chronicles as House of the Dead Resident Evil Edition. So I'm not repeating myself. I'll say that the Dark Side Chronicles is Time Crisis Resident Evil Edition. Um, what's the difference between House of the Dead and Time Crisis? Ah... Uh, two absolutely appalling movies. Oh! So, if you are too stupid, uh, I mean, too retarded to understand that little joke, Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles is an arcade-style on-rail shooter. So, story. This time we play through the events of Resident Evil 2, Code Veronica, and an original story featuring Jack Krauser and Leon Kennedy. Now this acts as a kind of, sort of, not really, prequel to Resident Evil 4. Personally, I'm not on speaking terms with Resident Evil 4 after it subjected me to the nightmare in the flesh known as Ashley Bloody Graham. Oh, what an odd middle name, Bloody. Um, did you go to a special school as a child, Bertram? Uh, no. I was homeschooled. Ah, well, that explains everything. So, gameplay. When something moves, shoot it. Well, <laughs> that was easy. So, let's discuss each of the chapters in the game, starting with... Um... Code Veronica. Now, this game does something really rather remarkable. It actually makes me enjoy Resident Evil Code Veronica. Oh, does that mean you're finally going to review Code Veronica for the channel? Oh, good lord, no. I'd rather cut my arm off and use it to scratch your back. Um, feel free to do that. Um, I do have an awful itch on my back. Are you saying you would let your master cut his arm off? Which would most likely result in his death. Um, no. Ah, correct answer. So, the new storyline. 
or as it's called in the game, Operation Javier. Javier. Operation Haver. Op whatever the hell it's called. It's fine. Moving on. So, uh, aren't you going to elaborate? Uh, do you know what the word elaborate means? Um, no. Ah, well then there's your answer. So, Resident Evil 2. Now, this chapter of the game is essentially a remake of Resident Evil 2 before there was actually a Resident Evil 2 remake. Not only that, but certain scenes are actually better here than in the remake. Isn't that remarkable? Uh, Bartram, I said, isn't that remarkable? But what are you doing? Oh, uh, I thought I saw a raisin on the ground, so I ate it. And? Well, it was actually one of Bertie's poopoos. Uh, remind me again. Who is Bertie? Uh, my mouse. I hope that's not a euphemism. Uh, I don't know what that is. Well, Bertram, it's a... You know what? Never mind. Oh, yes, mouse. The thing you keep in your pocket. Uh, that thing is called Bertie. It's like Bertram, but it's not. Uh, well, thank you for educating me on that, Bertram. Could you and your mouse please pay attention? How are you supposed to laugh at my jokes if you keep getting distracted with raisins? Uh, it was a poo-poo. Whatever. <sighs> So, what else can I tell you about the game, dear viewer? Uh, oh yes. Now, the voice acting is mostly great. Now, there's quite a few voices you'll recognize from other Resident Evil titles. And the writing isn't half bad either. I mean, it's not Shakespeare, but it's very good nonetheless. Uh... What Resident Evil game did Shakespeare write? Oh, well, that would be, um, Resident Evil V. To pee or not to pee, you absolute nitwit. Um, that's not a very good title. Bertram, if you say one more stupid thing, I'm going to strangle you with this extension cable. <laughs> so, dear viewer, what did I think of Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles? Well, let's compare it to Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles, shall we? Um, yes? It was a rhetorical question. Oh! If Dark Side Chronicles and the Umbrella Chronicles were in a boxing match, that's the name of that sport, yes? You know, the one where two half-naked gentlemen wear the oddest pair of marigolds I've ever seen and punch each other, that's... that's boxing, isn't it? Um... Is that a rhetorical question? No. Uh, then yes. What you described badly is called boxing. Ah, splendid. So, if Dark Side Chronicles and the Umbrella Chronicles were in a boxing match, Dark Side Chronicles would knock the Umbrella Chronicles' head off. What I'm saying is yes. The Dark Side Chronicles is great at... What the hell do you mean described badly? Um, nothing? No, don't you walk away from me, Bertram. Uh, Bertram. Bertram, this isn't over. 
he'll be back. He's always back. <laughs> so, <clears throat> if it's not obvious, dear viewer, I really enjoy the Dark Side Chronicles. And if you have a Nintendo Wii, or better yet, a PlayStation 3, that rhymes, um, then I suggest you get a copy of this game post haste. That means right bloody now. Just in case you were wondering. Therefore, I'm going to score Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles an 8 out of 10. Well, haha, <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My review for Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles. If you enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then feel free to give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, bell button thingy, please. Share this video with everyone you know. But remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram. Are you still here? Go away. I'm sure you've got something better to do with your time. No, seriously. Piss off. Be gone. Au revoir. A be de Zane. Bye. What in the hell is wrong with you? Go away! Vacate this space! Hit the cross at the top of the screen! The video is done! It's over! It's finito! It's caputo!